School year is getting closer and already many families have started back to school shopping. Parents are preparing to spend a lot this year. The National Retail Federation estimates families with children in elementary through high school plan to spend on average $874 on back to school items. Parents are budgeting on average about $310 for electronics, about $254 on clothing and accessories, $142 for school supplies, and $171 for shoes. College students bracing to spend even more with the average student expected to shell out $1,300 or $1,300 rather on items for the upcoming school year. So what are some ways that families can save? 12 News reporter Rachel Hallam spoke with businesses in the community that are working to provide cheaper options that don't break the bank. I think this is between this and Christmas is probably the biggest time. Back to school shopping can be hard for some families with financial struggles. A lot of families do struggle at this time because with, you know, trying to figure out how to get the school supplies and stuff like that are really heavy. Like back to school shopping will probably start next week or so. And with classes just around the corner, resale stores just like kid to kid hope to be a financially viable option for families in the area. Sometimes you don't want to go out there and spend like $20 on a shirt or $15 here or there and you can get it for like half or even a third of that here. Offering a chance to even sell old clothes. Bring it on in, we pay cash or 25% more in store credit. That'll help you get those back to school styles for even cheaper. And that's exactly why people like Julie Johnson are opening resale stores in their community. To provide parents with an affordable way to shop and that's one of the reasons I wanted to open this one too is to provide parents that that opportunity when their kids grow um, because that's always a constant. Kids are always going to grow out of their clothes. All trying to help out anywhere they can. Thank you. It's just a lot all at one time for parents to deal with and so I hope to help ease that burden. In Wichita, Rachel Hallam, 12 News.